So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Galaxy Note 22 Ultra was announced, yes. Bro, did this guy really just say Note 22 Ultra? Are you kidding? Nick, bro, 700,000 subscribers and you don't even know the name of the phone? The S22 Ultra was announced yesterday and I went ahead and ordered it. I ordered it and I'm not gonna tell you the color right now. You'll have to stay tuned for that unboxing coming in a couple of weeks, but in this one, I wanna talk about why Samsung decided to just basically kill off the Note series and keep it around with a different name as the S22 Ultra, which has been receiving rave reviews already. Many people, you know, blusting over this device already, and I'm ready to check it out myself, you know, as a tech fan myself, and I'm sure a lot of you may have pre-ordered it already if you're watching this video, but this is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the last actual Note that we call the Note. One of the biggest reasons why is the appeal of the Galaxy Note series has always been its larger display. Yeah, the S Pen is a huge deal as well. They brought it to their tablets, even to the S21 Ultra last year, even though it was not the best solution. It wasn't in the phone. A lot of people didn't like that. But because so many phones now have such large displays, that the Galaxy Note line really doesn't really stand out for having this super large display. When the Note first launched several years ago, it was like huge phone, big display, but not all phones have big displays. So that's one of the first reasons. They already had the S20 Ultra, the S21 Ultra big display. And then you bring a slightly refined Note device. And I've been seeing the I've been seeing declining interest in the Note series device in the past couple years after the S20 Ultra and S21 Ultra came out because they're so similar and six months apart, you, you come out with a slightly better, you know, Note device, and then you make the S20 Ultra and the S21 Ultra user feel like, man, I gotta trade again already. I just got this phone, man. Like, so I think it was really targeting a similar customer. The similar person was buying the S20 Ultra, S21 Ultra also likes the Note, so might as well fuse the line together. Next up is Samsung's folding and flip line of devices are definitely what they believe the vision of their future is. They've even said this. So it's definitely what they feel is gonna go forward. So launching the Galaxy Flip and the Galaxy Fold around the season of iPhone, you know, biggest competitor, you know, trying to sway people away from that to believe in their vision of the future, the Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy Flip. And why launch the Note around, you know, that August time frame when you could launch the Fold Flip, get a jump start on those iPhones that are coming later this year, which I don't think will hurt Apple sales at all. The iPhone 14 is still gonna crush it. We already know it's probably gonna be the biggest iPhone sales ever. That's one of the reasons why the Note has gotta go to this time frame and save that for the Galaxy Flip and the Galaxy Z Fold. My next reason is that I feel honestly like the S line and the Galaxy Note line have been kind of blurring the lines. They've been blending in a little bit too much. I mean, take a look at them. They're not that much different. So it's kind of like why launch two phones when you could just fuse them into one? And I think that's what we have here with the Galaxy S22 Ultra. We kind of fuse them together. They take the Note's design, they take the S, you know, they take the S naming scheme, they put all the same specs that you had in S21 Ultra, but better this year with the Note's body, which a lot of people love. They didn't really like how the S Pen had to go on this thick case on the side, didn't have anywhere to put it in the body, and you have yourself the S22 Ultra. And if you look at here, this is two phones, S21 Ultra, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. If we have both these devices, that means Samsung's got to manufacture two different devices. It also reduces profitability. In addition to that, it takes up more resources and with the ongoing global chip shortage, you know, that definitely does seem to play a factor. Why produce and manufacture and make it harder on yourself when the same customer will buy the same device right here, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, the same customer basically. They both want the high end. So, and if, you, if you're like, hey man, but I don't like the shape of the Note. Some people don't like the squared body. A lot of people don't talk about this, but a lot of people really prefer, you know, those rounded edges up here on the S21 Ultra. I actually prefer this myself, but I do prefer the width of the Note. It's a little bit better for writing with the S Pen, but they still have the Galaxy S22 Plus. This is the S21 Plus here, but it's pretty much the same design. They're, they have the rounded edges with that device if you want to go ahead 
and pick up the S22 Plus, you can still have your you know nice big display with your rounded edges. It should appeal. It still has the same four nanometer processor, still gonna have a really good camera system and everything that you might like. But for the all out, you're gonna have to go with the square body this year, obviously, with the Galaxy S22 Ultra. My next reason is that I feel like the Note line has bec been becoming more niche and niche over the years. Um, it's like Samsung, a few years ago, it was like, it was the best of the best. But ever since the launch of the S20 Ultra, and again, the S21 Ultra, I mentioned this already, the Note line just feels like it's not as like exciting. It, it didn't feel like it was as exciting because they already have launched a premier smartphone in these, it was really the Ultra line that kind of did this. Launching this large, beautiful Ultra device with beautiful cameras, you know, sometimes better cameras, like the Note 20 Ultra couldn't zoom 100X, they did like 50X. So it's kind of, you had to pick the S line to get the camera. Now you can get your S Pen, you can get your best camera out there all in one package. So it kind of like, I feel like it just niched down this device. It made it seem like if you like the Note, you're just in this little group of Note users, you know, but for everyone else, you can just go get your the S21 Ultra, whatever, you know, you could just get the Ultra, the S line device. So I think it kind of uh, niched down this device, but maybe this was the plan all along. It, again, pushing the fold and the flip line, having these S devices, you know, introduce, and then they could bring the Note users over to like this January, February, first quarter time frame, so they can save the flip and fold for the future. Kind of makes sense in my opinion. The next one I feel like is profitability. Again, Samsung is in the business of profiting. This is not a volunteer company. This is a profit. This is a for-profit company, and there's nothing wrong with that. They're pushing out innovative technology. At the same time, why you know have two devices where? You're gonna niche down the Note device right here and then sell less of these when you can combine both and sell more of that at one time. And you've seen already that they're selling a boatload as the pre-order site has been crashing left and right. It took me four hours yesterday to order that guy right there. Most nightmare experience I ever had. I, I'm, I'm confident Samsung will get their act together, but definitely I was pretty disappointed that a multi-billion dollar corporate company could not handle the load on their website. I've never seen this. I mean, I've seen it on the Google Pixel device before, but you know, this is Samsung. They sell a boatload of phones. I wish they were a little bit more prepared for the massive traffic that was gonna come to this website. If there's anything that can be improved in the future, that's one of them. Pre-order needs to go smooth or else it definitely angers a lot of people. Lastly, the refinement of the Note over the S series. I talked, I touched on this a little bit, but again, I'm going back to this whole S20 Ultra Note Ultra, you know, lineup. It's kind of like you make the customer of earlier in the year feel like, oh, why, why didn't you just give me that on my S phone? So it kind of like refined a little bit. And again, it just kind of, it's just blurring the lines too much. So putting it here and then having your S line for the people who want the curves and the S22 plus, you know, slightly less money, but you get that curvy rounded edges. It makes total sense in my book. So I'm very happy with the direction they're going here. And then that frees up more resources, more time for them to work on the future of mobile, which could definitely be within, you know, the fold line, flipping line, whatever kind of like folding and bending type of phones they want to do in the future. You can get the people who love the mainstream devices out early so they can enjoy it throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, if they want to try something new going into the holiday season, boom, you have your fold and flip line. So Definitely, I think this was a great move, and uh, I look forward to reviewing the S22 Ultra here on the channel, so stay tuned. If you wanna see some comparisons, you wanna see some speed test, beast mode videos, let me know what you wanna see coming up, because un unlike you know some of the videos you're gonna see, I'm definitely, I ordered this myself with my own cash, so I'm coming from a customer's perspective. I'm not gonna come to you from a YouTuber's perspective. I'm gonna tell you how I feel, Nick Ackerman, the person, not the YouTuber, I'm gonna tell you how I feel about this device, whether it's bad or good, I will tell you everything about it. So get your subscription in, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts on this device. I'd love to hear what you got to think. Did you order, did you have a crappy pre-order experience? Did it go smoothly for you? Let us know down below in the comments. If you like these conversational chit chatty type of videos, let me know as well. I heard the audio was out of sync in the last one. Sorry about that. I'm pretty sure we fixed it here though. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.